Okay, I'm running Chrome OS in VirtualBox, and I have to give a hat tip to GDGT. They compiled and created a image that I can run Chrome OS. You can download it and do this yourself, but if you don't want to do that, you can just take a look at this. Basically, I have Chrome OS running. When I had the machine boot up, I signed in with my Google account, uh, my personal Gmail account. In, in this particular case, I have a separate account with gigaohm.com, which we run on Google Apps. And as you've seen, it's a browser. Um, but you'll also notice a couple of other things here. I have added a couple of extensions, which I find pretty interesting that I'm able to do because some extensions can be installed to the developer versions of Chrome. And sure enough, I figured Monday might work here, and they do. So let me, like right up here, I've got a tasks. Well, I had toggled it, but maybe not. I wouldn't say these work all that well. Oh, I lost my tasks. Well, that's a shame. I had tasks going. All right, but how about my bookmarks? Is that still working? Yeah, that's still working. All right, good. So I could go to... Google Reader, for example, just by clicking here on this extension. I had the tasks working, that's a bummer. Everything's kind of slow, but we are in a VM, so, and the size isn't right either and whatnot. But um, up the top right, you'll see the time, and you can open the date and time options, which I'll do. I'm on the East Coast, so I set it for East Coast. Uh, Oh, I went to the uh, to the main options, so I'm sorry. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, so we've got our time zones. I can choose whatever. I'm on Eastern, so we'll leave it as Eastern. Touchpad. I'm not running this on a touchpad, so I'm not going to mess with that. And ignore the tapping. Might as well take you through some of the other stuff. You've seen this before, though. This is the same as the Chrome browser options. Got my home page set up. Default search. Can we change that? Yeah, hey, look, they put Yahoo in. Bing! That's nice, and you can add others. That's good. Close. Other personal stuff. This, again, you have seen this if you've used Chrome. Uh, let's see, under the hood, same stuff, same stuff. You can choose a download location, which I find interesting for downloads because they said nothing would be locally stored. Yet, I've got a file system in here tells me I might be able to store some stuff locally, so. So I'm just using downloads, which is the default right now. You can see the Linux bits there in that file explorer. Uh, but basically here I am in the browser, I and mean, it's really no different. Um, I have messed with these buttons up here, but sometimes I can't get out of them, so I'm not going to go there right this second. I don't even remember. One's a connectivity, yeah. Turn Wi-Fi on, turn Ethernet off. I'm connecting through a virtual Ethernet interface, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. Um, what was this? Hopefully it doesn't get me somewhere where I can't go back. Ah, okay. So it's just a, another bit of options. Uh, I could not sync through Google Bookmark Sync, unfortunately. That would have been really cool. It is grayed out here. Yep, sync my bookmarks. Grayed out. Everything else is the same. Downloads. I actually downloaded some MP3s from Dropbox, um, but really had nothing to play them on. So that's going to be something where everybody goes, aha, I told you, you can't just use a browser. But maybe we'll see some type of extension that could work for that. I could, if I had my Windows Home Server up and running, probably stream an MP3 through Orb on the web, but I don't have that running. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, obviously, everything's going to look and feel the same as it does in any browser. Uh, let's see. Gmail's going to look the same. Hopefully I've got nothing that I shouldn't be showing you in my Gmail. Nothing new there. Alright. 
move this tab. Looks like I can. Yep. Do anything else with it? I can pin it. So I have a Gmail tab. There we go. So I always have that, which is nice. Kind of like a shortcut. I did see something about saving, turning a web page into an app on the desktop. That may just be a carryover from the Chrome browser. I do not know. But I'm kind of bummed I had the tasks working before. But I lost them. It was a little pop up down at the bottom right. Oh, I'm so disappointed because it was kind of neat. Oh, there it was. I saw it for a second. Where'd it go? There it is. There we go. Click it and pop up. Cool. So I've got a little tasks extension running. And what happens if I change the tab? Obviously I haven't played with this with this for long. So it's kind of stuck on the other tab, I presume. Yep. I tap it again, it's gonna go and get minimized. Okay. I wouldn't want it there all the time. So I'm thankful for this extension, which kind of sort of works. Yeah, create application shortcuts. See again, I think this is a holdover. I'm just gonna say, yeah, create them here and here. I don't think it's gonna do anything, quite honestly. But it's something. I kind of tend to believe that with the right extensions, Chrome OS could be very viable for people like me people who live on the web 98 or 98.9 percent of the time. Uh, but it's going to come down to extensions. The, the extensibility that makes Firefox so successful, I think, is going to have to come to the Chrome OS and the Chrome browser. If it comes to the Chrome browser, like we all expect, based on Google's discussion of this, then I'm sure it's going to filter into the Chrome OS. So that's a good sign. So I would say, if you want to know what's going to happen with Chrome OS, keep an eye on the Chrome browser because that's the playground in my opinion for this operating system which some people have said you know it's just a browser there is a Linux underpinning underneath so there is more that they can do with this and still keep it light but we'll have to see how it shapes up personally I don't see the need for more hardware uh, this Google approved hardware, I'm not quite getting that. I think that is to guarantee an experience, but quite honestly, it shouldn't be necessary. Um, so, all right, well, not a very exciting look, but hey, we're looking at a browser, so I'm not sure what else I can show you. Um, at this point, I'm going to keep playing with it, see if there's something else that is. Something that I've missed that's really exciting worth sharing, and if it is, I will write it up in a post. For now, that is Chrome OS running on Sun's VirtualBox.